Lane Beatty is the president and chief executive officer of the Salt Lake Chamber, a position he has held since 2003. He can rightly be called Utah's business leader. Under his direction, the chamber has embraced a new era of business leadership that blends the best of a traditional chamber with top-notch and powerful business advocacy. During his tenure at the helm of Utah's largest and longest-standing statewide business association, the chamber has strengthened Utah's economy by investing in transportation, reforming our health system, improving education, and expanding international business. The chamber was also the driving force behind Downtown Rising, a movement to enhance Utah's capital city that supported unprecedented investment in Salt Lake City's central business district. Today, under Lane's leadership, the Chamber continues to support pro-business policies that will provide enduring benefits for the state economy, a long-term effort to promote prosperity through education, and the development of a first-class workforce was launched in 2009. The Chamber has convened the Energy Resources Task Force to conserve energy, develop new sources of energy, and preserve low-cost energy that attracts businesses to our state and benefits all Utahns. A real estate professional for over 25 years, Lane was elected to the Utah State Senate in 1988. He became Majority Whip in 1991, Majority Leader in 92 and 94, and was elected Senate President, a position he held until he left the legislature in 2000. During his Senate career, Lane proposed and implemented some of the most sweeping changes in the legislative process in several decades, including utilization of the Internet to increase citizen involvement and to make the legislative process significantly more efficient and transparent. Lane played a crucial role in the success of the 2002 Winter Olympic Games, the largest international event in Utah's history. In June of 2000, he was named Chief State Olympic Officer by Governor Mike Levitt and played a prominent role in what was called by NBC President Dick Ebersole far and away the most successful Olympics, summer or winter, in history. Along with many honors and accolades he's received over the years, including an honorary doctorate from Utah Valley University in 2008, Lane is a member of the National Advisory Council of the Marriott Business School at Brigham Young University and a recipient of the 2007 Local Distinguished Service Award from the American Public Transportation Association. Lane plays an active role on a number of boards. He is the chair of the Rio Tinto Kennecott Land Advisory Board, is a member of the American Chamber of Commerce Executives Board and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Committee of 100. He was named to the U.S. Chamber Board of Directors in June of 2011. Lane enjoys golf and skiing and raises quarter horses. He is a Utah State quarter horse team pinning champion. He and his wife, Joy, have three children and nine grandchildren, seven boys and two princesses. He was always the leader you could count on to both think through things well, uh, maintain an optimistic approach and attitude towards whatever it is that was being worked on, uh, and help us all arrive at solutions. Under his leadership, I think the chamber has been more proactive in more things and accomplished more than perhaps any time in the recent past. Well, Lane has been involved with so many different issues. His fingerprints are on a lot of really good and wonderful things that have happened in Utah in the last generation. And I think that's, that's been remarkable of what he's been able to do and then brought together individuals from the government sector, from the business sector, and together take on these issues. And so he has an ability of bringing a team around him and at addressing these problems. He really opens up his mind. He takes off the blinders. He looks at things in new ways and uh, creates new solutions and new ideas instead of being held hostage by old ideas and old thoughts and old ways of doing things. What has been referred to as the most successful winter or summer games in the history of the Olympic uh, Games here in Utah, in large part because of the efforts of Lane Beatty. Uh, he's very adept at uh, explaining very complicated issues. He is uh, an experienced uh, negotiator. He understands human nature uh, in a way that most don't. He has an effervescent personality that uh, makes him believable to most anybody. Uh, and, uh, and then coupled with that, with that integrity model, uh, it's, uh, it's hard to beat. He's just a remarkable person. He, you know, there are a lot of people who are smart. Uh, there are a lot of people who 
maintain this great sense of optimism that certainly Lane possesses. But there, there are very few people, if anyone, that shares with that Lane's sense of creative solution solving. Uh, he, <coughs> he has that really rare ability to kind of see past obstacles uh, to solutions creatively. And that <coughs> is the kind of person who I always want to be around because uh, that's how we get things done. He's part of my inside advisory team. A lot of the good counsel I get uh, comes from Lane Beatty. He doesn't always agree with me, and I appreciate the fact that he's willing to step up and say, Gary, I think you're going about this wrong. I would reconsider if I were you. And coming from Lane, I take that counsel seriously and uh, appreciate his willingness to help me. And really, in many ways, he's been a very good confidant and partner and, and associate in helping us govern the state of Utah in a very difficult time. It's hard to look at a significant issue in this community that Lane hasn't been intimately involved in and helping uh, to come up with the solution. If uh, there's anyone in our community who deserves a little attaboy or a pat on the back for the great work they've accomplished in building the community and looking after those kinds of affairs, it's Lane Beatty. Uh, Lane, is, Lane is a big thinker. Lane sees the needs from all, not only from a government or a state or a community uh, standpoint, but also from a business standpoint and from an individual standpoint and, and knows how to make those connections come together so that it's a win-win for everyone and so that collectively we as a community grow and we're lifted. And Lane is one of those bright minds that really has really made a difference for this community. And he loves Utah. He loves his state. He loves his community. And he wants to, in fact, help improve things. He really is a very sincere soul when it comes to trying to give back and improving his community. And it's because he loves people so much. Whenever you think of Lane, you really have to look over his shoulder at Joy, his wife, that, that they are a great partnership. And he's been able to accomplish the things that he has because she has been there to support him, to, to uh, uh, comfort him, to advise him, uh, to take care of things at home when he's been away. And, and one of the reasons Lane has contributed so much to this community is because of the relationship and partnership he has with Joy, his wife and friend. We could probably write a book on Elaine Beatty's exploits and all of his contributions to the great state of Utah. Uh, he's a great family man, uh, a good husband, a good father, uh, a good neighbor, uh, again, a good friend. Probably my proudest comment uh, that I have is I can say Lane Beatty is a friend of mine. That means a lot to me. And uh, I think he's just a wonderful individual that we can all use as a role model. When I grow up, I want to be more like Lane Beatty. I think he has received exceptional um, uh, training from his mother. And, and uh, you see those values of hard work, of charity, of, of uh, kindness um, uh, uh, demonstrated in all of his actions. He, he truly is a, a person of integrity. And I think that's what makes him stand out. So when you deal with him, you have trust in him, you believe in him, you may disagree with him, but you can't fault him for his, um, uh, what he's trying to do. I've known him and Joy for a number of years and uh, find them to be just a delight to be with. Uh, they're always upbeat, they're always positive. Uh, it's almost as if there's not a care in the world when you're around them and I think that's very enjoyable. He is a very positive personality and optimistic and uh, that's why it's so fun to be around. When Lane speaks, people listen.